by alloying their steels with a growing number of specific chemicals like manganese, titanium, chromium, and nickel, automakers are able to almost continuously improve the engines and structures of their vehicles. However, the fundamental formula for making the physics of electric motors and batteries work can be a little intimidating when it comes to electric vehicles. Neodymium, one of the most important components in the rare earth magnets required to build the permanent magnet electric motors that are most frequently found in modern electric vehicles, is one of the essential components of e-motors. Toyota is moving on with the development of a global electric vehicle while attempting to reduce its dependency on neodymium. The Prius Prime and the majority of EVs and hybrids use permanent magnet motors, which live up to their name by incorporating magnets that are mounted directly on or inside the rotor, the motor's rotating component, while electric current is applied to the stator's windings, the motor's stationary component. Rare earth magnets, which are lighter and capable of producing a stronger field and consequently greater torque than traditional ferrite magnets, are used to provide the power required for EVs. There are various motor designs, including the AC induction motors Tesla favors in its Model S and Model X, or the current excited motors being developed by several manufacturers for the next generation of EVs. Audi is taking this route for its e-tron and e-tron quattro models. But the permanent magnet architecture is still popular among automakers due to its ease of production and efficiency even Tesla uses it in its Model 3 vehicle. Toyota has discovered a way to retain the heat-resistant qualities that make the metal a must-have while reducing the amount of neodymium in electric motor magnets by 20%, with the potential to reduce it by as much as 50%. The manufacturer has entirely redesigned the grain surface of the magnets and switched to a two-layer structure that placed intense neodymium on the surface but a diluted form of the element in the core, alloying it there with cerium and lanthanum in a 3 to 1 ratio. The automaker points out that both of those novel ingredients are readily available and reasonably priced. Exactly where and when maximal performance in an electric vehicle would be required, the new magnet performs slightly better in terms of coercivity at the upper end of its operating temperature range, above around 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Within the next few years, and within the following 10 years, Toyota intends to introduce a motor design that uses the new magnets in electric power steering systems and drive motors for electric automobiles. On the other hand, Toyota's new battery electric vehicle BEV, the BZ4X, uses an e-axle that Blue Nexus Corporation, Azing Corporation, and Denso Corporation developed together. What is an e-axle? An e-axle is a drive unit that incorporates the essential elements required to propel a vehicle, such as a battery electric vehicle BEV, using an electric motor as the primary power source into the axle frame. A gearbox, a motor, and an inverter make up the majority of an e-axle. Due to the integration of the essential parts into a single structure, the unit is lighter and smaller, which has a number of advantages, including conserving space and money. The e-axle is distinguished by its strength and compactness. Comparing an axle to the standard engine and gearbox drive system, most people are astonished by how little it is. Likewise, the e-axle is less than half the size of the traditional engine and transmission, while yet being able to provide the same level of power. The car can run longer on less energy and utilize the space provided better thanks to smaller, lighter components. The users of vehicles can also profit greatly from the small and strong e-axle. E-axle is typically installed in motor-powered vehicles like BEVs and fuel cell electric vehicles FCEVs. However, it can also be used in hybrid electric vehicles HEVs and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles PHEVs, which combine an engine with an electric motor. The axle is attached to the front of the vehicle in front-wheel drive BEVs and FCEVs. The vehicle can be switched into four-wheel drive 4WD by installing an e-axle at the back in addition to the front. In addition, HEVs and PHEVs can be converted to four-wheel drive by adding an axle to the rear of the vehicle in addition to the engine and hybrid transmission that are located up front. 
Azin will satisfy the needs of areas where four-wheel drive vehicle demand is high due to their difficult driving conditions, such as on rocky or icy roads, while also enhancing a comfortable and powerful driving experience by increasing the array of e-axles. Three new models have been created in collaboration by Blue, Azin, and Denso. For front-wheel drive vehicles, a 150 kW specification front and 80 kW specifications front and rear have been produced. By boosting output density, this device has been able to achieve exceptional dynamic performance and high torque. The output density can be increased by employing simulations and technologies developed before to optimize cooling inside the e-axle, adapt heat management technology, and enhance double-sided cooling technology for inverter layers. Likewise, the best possible magnetic design of the motor, the joining technology to reduce coil lens, low viscosity oil for the e-axle, and loss reduction technologies like the new RCIGBT have all contributed to the achievement of top-tier electric mileage. In addition, the e-axle has undergone significant downsizing, including the adoption of an output shaft, a built-in structure that integrates an inverter into the transaxle, and a smaller motor. The passenger and luggage compartment spaces are made larger by the reduced longitudinal length and lowered height of the e-axle that will be positioned at the front and rear of a vehicle, respectively. Future trends and e-axle development, demand is anticipated to increase along with a trend toward higher hardware component integration, with many predicting that e-axles will become a standard component of electric powertrains. Heavy-duty vehicles, commercial vehicles, and passenger cars can all use the solution. Compound annual growth rates CAGR of above 30% have been predicted by certain analysts for the foreseeable future. According to Derry Noy, project lead for transmission fluids at Shell Global Solutions US Inc. China is in the forefront of the world's e-axle mass production. The Shell representative points out that higher levels of technical innovation and engineering complexity come from premium OEMs, most of which are based in Europe, the United States, or Japan, but she is based at the Shell Technology Center in Houston, Texas, in the United States. In order to set themselves apart from their rivals' technologies, OEMs are currently debating whether to build their own capabilities in-house or collaborate closely with Tier 1 suppliers. This is because the axles have not yet reached technical maturity. Suppliers like Bosch, GKN, and Magna have already created e-axle solutions to meet the growing demand. Hardware for e-axles comes in a variety of designs. Further standardization of architecture makes financial sense with higher manufacturing quantities. Compared to a regular petrol or diesel car, EVs are already known to require less maintenance. The days of changing the oil, replacing the fuel injectors, and cleaning the diesel particulate filters are long gone. The axles are created to require little or no maintenance. Can we therefore say goodbye to regular automobile maintenance? We can reasonably anticipate less maintenance from an e-axle compared to a conventional powertrain because there are less moving mechanical parts. According to OI, standard maintenance would be defined differently. There are numerous hardware designs and configurations, but the market is still young and developing. According to her, standard maintenance varies depending on whether the vehicle is a passenger car, truck, or other commercial vehicle, and also depends on its class or function. Having said that, what do you think of e-axles? Could it be the holy grail of electric powertrains? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.